The next question, Mr. Hill, please take first. So, somewhat a follow-up on the last one. What is the best way to get bipartisan cooperation in the legislature? Well, the best way to, to get bipartisan co cooperation, I mean, I, was, I chair the Democratic Caucus in the Assembly. And in that role, one of my closest friends in Sacramento, we started at the same time, was the chair of the Republican Caucus. We've socialized together. We, we don't get along on some, we've had some very heated discussions, philosophically, and on policy issues, and we've argued considerably. But when there's ever a way for me to help him or support him on something that he's doing that is not necessarily on a policy compromise that I have to make, or vice versa, we'll do that. It's with everyone in the legislature. You want to be able to work with people because you have to be able to come together in politics, as we know, is the art of compromise. And the only way to get anything accomplished is to be able to compromise, to take legislation and work that legislation, whether it's legislation that I've had this year that now will, will save, hopefully, the lives in the party bus industry. Certainly, there was a lot of opposition from industry over that, from the party bus industry, from the bus industry, who were, were initially were, were not excited about that. But these are minors drinking and uh, the serving of alcohol on party buses, killing people, as just occurred last month in, uh, in Los Gatos. So these are things that, or, or the fact that I was able to, now every year, we've taken over 10,000 repeat DUI offenders off the road through legislation that I had. There are a lot of interest groups around all of those. But in order to, when you work together with people and you're able to interact with them and compromise when you have to to get it passed, it works. Sally Lieber. You know, there's a, a funny thing about Sacramento is, is when you look at the news, it talks about everyone butting heads and it kind of looks like the only thing that people do is, is fight all day. And then when they turn the cameras off, generally people are working together. But our problems in our state are, are very complex. They're very intractable. We're really almost like a, a nation state here in California by virtue of our, our population. And we're a great experiment in democracy by virtue of our diversity as a state. So we have a lot of uh, challenges. Um, people do work together. I would say that uh, compromise sometimes is a euphemism for driving the policies towards the mushy middle. And unfortunately, what happens is when you compromise to get a bill through, and in Sacramento, people say, oh, don't worry, you're going to get a bill. So you're going to have a win on your record by not taking on a tough issue. But what happens is that our long-term, intractable, impactful issues never ever get dealt with. And those are the uncomfortable uh, conversations that we have to take on. Fundraising sucks a tremendous amount of energy out of our state capital in Sacramento. I think on one year, last year, there were over 70 fundraising events. And that, can't, that isn't consistent with policy. 